Good morning and welcome to this week's edition of Encompass Live. I am your host, Krista Burns, here at the Nebraska Library Commission. Uh, Encompass Live is the Commission's weekly online event. Um, we are sometimes called a webinar, a webcast, an online show, uh, whatever you want to call us though. We are always here live Wednesday mornings online at 10 a.m. Central Time. Um, however, all of our shows are recorded, so if you're unable to join us on Wednesday mornings, that's fine. You can always go to our website that I will show you at the end of the show, and you can watch the recordings of all of our previous shows. We um, post the recordings, any presentations, if there's PowerPoints or anything that people have, handouts, um, links to websites that are mentioned during the show, all of those are collected together and put onto our archives pages. Uh, both the free show and the archives are both the live show and the archives are free and open to anyone to watch, so um, please do share with any of your friends or colleagues who might be interested in any of our topics. Uh, we do a mixture of things here, presentations, book reviews, mini training sessions, um, interviews, uh, basically anything library related we have on the show. Uh, we do bring in guest speakers from outside of Nebraska, um, outside of the Nebraska Library Commission and outside of Nebraska. Um, um, but we also have presentations that we do um, from our own Nebraska Library Commission staff, and that's what we have this morning. Yes. To my left is Laura Johnson, who is the Library Commission's Continuing Education Coordinator. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Laura. Good morning. Um, and she's going to tell us about a new new service. Relatively new yeah, service. Last year, I don't know yes. when exactly it went live. <laughs> um, for Nebraska Library um, staff. To, yes. Um, work on skills and things. So I'm just going to hand it over to you to go ahead and uh, take it away. Well, thank you. Um, okay, this we titled this Integrate Those Desktop Skills with Online Classes. Um, and what that means, well, as many of you know, and this really is today largely for a Nebraska audience, um, and I'll explain why in a minute. Um, as you know, several years ago, we had this big grant and we put a lot of computers in libraries. Mm -hmm. And um, that means that you've got a lot of people using those computers in your libraries. And when people use computers in libraries, it turns out they frequently need help with them. Mm -hmm. um, which meant that many of us needed to kind of brush up on our skills a little bit so that we could help people. Um, and we had we have tried a lot of different kinds of training. We've had training through the community colleges. Mm -hmm. We've had um, workshops. We had a special set of workshops where we cooperated with the um, Nebraska Extension Service. Yep. yep. And um, so we knew that there was kind of a need for some skills training. We also knew from the... Um, reactions we have gotten to the uh, programming we've been doing in the last several years that convenience is a big deal and not not just because people need want convenient because people have busy lives and they're working and trying to fit uh, time for a workshop into their lives is difficult there's a lot of uh, travel in involved and that's a lot of expense so we were trying to find something that would fit in with people's lives um, that would give them the training they needed and um, that we could afford because that's kind of a big deal for us too mm -hmm. and uh, really we came up kind of with a list and I really was looking into a list of places that offered this kind of training when an opportunity came up through Web Junction to participate in what is essentially a group purchase hmm. of access to Skillsoft classes. Oh, hang on. There we go. There we go. Um, now, before you go, I was it, you mm -hmm. said that this is mainly geared towards Nebraska libraries. It is. And that everything that we're going to be talking about that has been offered and created is, is for, for Nebraska, Nebraska libraries. But people who are not from Nebraska can still get ideas from this. About they this they, the they way certainly you, can. And, and there's, I think, seven something. or eight other states that are also right. doing this. So your this. state may be doing the same thing. Yeah. Or, if, like you said, it's I didn't realize, I didn't even know. It was a group purchase with Web Junction, yeah. something that maybe you or you, should, you can get your state involved with doing it. Um, mm -hmm. See if, if they aren't already, um, look into this. Okay. 
So, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Skillsoft is a company. It was started by Chuck Moran. He's out of Nashua, New Hampshire. Um, a little over 15 years ago, it is the biggest uh, off uh, biggest company that offers these kinds of trainings, mm -hmm. um, and they're very well regarded. Um, so we essentially have a contract through Web Junction with Skillsoft for um, access to their catalog of courses for all Nebraska library staff. Technically, the catalog says it's 813 people. I'm not sure why. I don't know where they got that number. <laughs> okay. um, but it's okay. So what does Skillsoft offer us? Basically, online learning at your fingertips whenever you want it, when you need it. And that for us was key, that this would fit into the user's lives and really fulfill their need. Um, it is sponsored by the Nebraska Library Commission. We are paying for this, which does mean um, that we will be looking at it to see if it's used mm -hmm. because um, it takes a while for people to get used to something and try out something new. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, we can't go on paying forever for something that very few people are using. Now, this isn't something that had to do with those grants that we had the money for this. No, 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 the, the money did that not. It's just that, yeah. uh, with the grants, we had we were able to get so many computers for libraries. Mm -hmm. right. But that has kind of, in some ways, we created a need. Yes, we did. Um, Victim of our success. Is I guess we say? are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're sponsoring this. What is available to you through this? Um, 450 self-paced courses and over 4,000 short videos. Um, a sample of some of the course titles. Um, we really got this thinking that the desktop skills were going to be a big deal. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of different kinds of classes. You can see that some of them are desktop, some of them are uh, computer network kinds of things, but some of them are customer service, oh. communications, I like the leadership, leadership, the um, management kinds of things. So there's a, a lot of variety in the courses. Um, but for instance, um, if we took one of the things they do is they take sort of topics and then break them down into bite-sized pieces. Nice. They're very big on bite-sized pieces. Mm -hmm. So for instance, if you were, if you wanted to learn Word from our Word 2013, there are five classes that you could take. Um, the advantage of this, of course, is that you can just take a little bit at a time, kind of digest that, and then go on to the next thing. And you can definitely work at your own pace. Um, so this is sort of a pattern for them that they will have a major topic and they'll break it down into smaller pieces and then break it down even further. Um, now, as far as the videos are, these are the courses. As far as the videos, because they have all these videos, again, some of them are uh, desktop kinds of things. There's a lot of things on Windows 8, but Google Apps, web browsing quick and these I literally just picked up the titles out of their catalog um, videos tend to be about oh between 5 and 15 minutes long not bad yeah no it's usually you know we have said that programs have to be at least half an hour long for people to get CE credit for mm -hmm. the librarian certification program what I want to do here I think will work is if you view several videos that add up to at least 30 minutes on the same subject. So like those ones that are all about word because they, yeah. obviously, I assume, I haven't, done, so, yeah. I haven't done any myself, though I want to, um, they lead into each other necessarily? Or yes, can you jump they around kind of, really? I think you can kind of jump around a little bit, mm -hmm. especially with the videos, but say mm -hmm. you did four videos on Microsoft Windows 8.1 and they added up to... 36 minutes. Mm -hmm. That would be 0.5 CE credits. Half an hour. Yep. Um, so that's what we're going to try to do here. Um, now, I had a few people who have already done some of the classes. Um, I contacted them and asked them, 
you know, what their experience had been like, because I thought that uh, it would be useful for people to hear uh, mm -hmm. um, what some of their colleagues thought. So, so when did this actually go live? When did we actually start? I actually when started actually it started? in January. It was January when you first mm -hmm. started doing these. Okay. Uh, Naomi Hemphill from Madison said that she tried um, the Windows 8.1 um, because they were changing and she mm -hmm. wanted to learn it and that she felt that it really helped her. Um, so I'm glad to hear that. Mm -hmm. um, Perfect timing for them. Yes. So, um, and remember, we're all going to be changing operating systems. Windows 10 is mm -hmm. coming up, oh, yeah. in a matter of days now, isn't it? Um, and I haven't seen any classes for Windows 10 in the Skillsoft mm -hmm. uh, catalog yet, but I'm expecting them. So um, this may be a really good way if you're, if you're going to be upgrading your operating system mm -hmm. to think about training for people. Mm -hmm. In your so library. is that that something that the the classes that are in the cl catalog could change over time? Yes, they, they do change. They will add things or update things. Um, I get an it's email. It's not like we bought only these classes, and if we want more, we have no, to ask. No, no. In fact, them. we it's the whole catalog. Okay, oh, uh, it's everything that's still coming. Yes, it off. wasn't. Oh, okay. It wasn't particular classes. It was mm -hmm. the whole catalog. So, so as they come up with new ones, that is get added, and we'll have access. We'll be able to, to have it. access to them. Nice. So, in order to get started, what do you do? Well, I created a launch page. I thought that might make it easier for people. Mm -hmm. um, so you just go to our front page, you know, nlc.nebraska.gov. And if you choose education and training, the flyout menu will come up and Skillsoft is listed right on the front page. So you don't really have to remember anything new. You can always mm -hmm. find it this way. This is the uh, page. I created it kind of thinking, well, let's give people a little explanation of how to do this and answer some questions they might have. Um, I also took the catalog because the catalog is, well, formidable. It, well, it, there's a lot of stuff. That's a lot yeah. of classes. Yeah. So I took the catalog and picked out the classes that I thought people might be most interested in and listed them here. So if you want to go to this PDF on our website, it is courses from Skillsoft, and of course you can view the whole Skillsoft catalog, but if people want to look at this, that's fine. Uh, do notice over on the right-hand column, um, they tell you about how long they think the course will take, mm -hmm. and so we thought, okay, that's how much credit you will get um, for taking the class from Skillsoft. So if mm -hmm. they say one hour, that's one CE credit. Um, so we go back to our uh, launch page there, and here is the URL. And when you go to that URL, you see that you get to Skillport, which mm -hmm. is the software that brings you the Skillsoft classes. And again, it's webjunction.skillports.com. The first time you go here, you have to register, and it's that little bitty thing down at the bottom. See, so remember to register. And when you do that, they're just going to ask you basically, you know, who you are and, you know, are you really from Nebraska? And so you have to tell them yes, please. Um, one of the reasons you have to register, oh, I have another um, testimonial here. Linda Michaelis from West Point said she does recommend SkillPoint. Skillport, um, the Skillsoft classes, and um, she had a good experience doing them. She thought it was very user friendly, and it was easy to navigate through it. Um, oh, she's starting a whole new one. Cool. Yeah. So, when you um, when you register, then you get your personal homepage. Now, there's a reason for this, and that is that you can stop a class in the middle. Remember, we said they were really designed in little chunks. Mm -hmm. So after you do kind of one chunk of a class, if you need to stop, then you can go back later and pick it up where pick you up left there. off. So your personal homepage kind of keeps track of that. There's also a lot of stuff here for you. Um, the first thing is there is a user guide. Now, I think it's worth probably... Um, downloading this. It's a Word document. It's 13 pages long. 
but it kind of helps you. Uh, it'll answer some questions and stuff. But if you don't want to, you know that it's always here. Uh, we go back to the point. There's also there's always tech support. Um, the help comes out in a pop up window, and I thought it was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um, I found I was able to find what I needed in the help, and um, I thought it, it was useful. It was well written. Um, also, there, if you want access to the videos, this page will give you access to the courses. But if you want access to the videos, you need to click on this little link to the desktop and IT videos, and it takes you to another page. Yeah. Where, which is called Books 24-7. Um, there are some books in here, but okay. I didn't think we'd... <laughs> if you're interested in the books, cool, mm -hmm. but I didn't that, go in. So the books are part of our... Yeah, but I didn't, well, I didn't but, go into yeah. it. Um, but if you choose videos, um, for instance, I looked under the desktop video topics, and you see, again, they're broken down into subjects, um, and I chose... Um, Operating systems, Microsoft Windows 8, and here, let's blow this up a little bit so you can see it a little better. Mm -hmm. They explain what the uh, video is. They tell you how long it is. Oops, should have gone back. Back there, I'll go back. <clears throat> they tell you how long it is. Um, and these are very focused, but I thought, you know, these were pretty mm -hmm. cool. And there's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, so I didn't say on the previous, it was like 65 yeah. came up for just yeah. Windows 8. Yeah, there's a whole bunch topic. of them. Yeah. So um, you easily could watch a cluster of these mm -hmm. if you wanted to. Okay. okay, back to the personal homepage where you can get access to the catalog. Now, the catalog, as I said, again, the way they tend to make things hierarchical. Mm -hmm. So they have six main subject headings. Let's look at those. Um, and I picked out one, when I did that list of sample topics, I mm -hmm. picked out one from each of these. I thought that was a way to get a good cross section. Um, but if, say, we went to um, desktop curricula and we opened that up, you wow. see there's all kinds of subjects, mm -hmm. all kinds of software in there. And then, say, we chose beginning Excel. Actually, it was Excel classes that I tried. Um, you see that there's five classes in beginning Excel. Uh, you can choose a class, and then it gives you a little explanation. You can launch the class from there. You can start it right there. It tells you how long it's going to take you. Um, so, you know, I, I think they give you enough information that you really kind of know what you're getting into. You can plan ahead for it. Yeah. yeah. I like also that on the list, in the previous longer list, it showed they do have classes for older things like Windows XP. Yeah, they do. Because there are still libraries, and there will be, out there that cannot yet um, upgrade to the newer versions that are coming yeah. out. I mean, yeah, Windows 10 is coming, but there are going to be people that still yes, there are, are going to be on XP, are going to have to be on the previous versions, and someone's going to be new to it. And I like that they still have some of the old stuff. It's not just for the newest yeah. stuff that might be coming out. Um, so when you launch, you get a page that, again, will tell you what the topics are. And generally, the classes, the couple of classes I've taken, they followed a pattern. First, there'll be an explanation of a particular kind of task. Then there'll be some examples that they'll show you. And these are kind of narrated, well, they're kind of video, but they're kind of narrated slides, really, because they're showing you screenshots. Um, and you move ahead at your own pace, so you have to keep telling it, you know, move to the next page, move to the next page, but it means that you don't have to go any faster than you want to go. Mm -hmm. Then there'll be some exercises where they'll literally say to you, okay, here's the situation, you do this. You'll do it. Um, and then they'll come back and say, yes, you did it successfully, or oops, you know, no, this isn't quite right. And then, so you can keep working on it. You can go back and try it over again until you really feel you've got it. And then there'll be a little test. Yeah, cool. So yeah. you can make sure that you really did you get it. what you're supposed to learn. Yeah. Um, 
it you kind of have to just work at that pace. I found sort of the hard way, the first class I did here, that skipping around wasn't really a great idea. It is done you, in a certain order for you, a reason. You just <laughs> you just do it in their order as as you go. Um, it didn't take, I didn't think, any time to really get the idea of how you navigate. If you see that um, sort of dull gray bar above the darker gray bar mm -hmm. on that slide there's two little arrows you keep you click those arrows to move ahead or move mm -hmm. back um you can if you see over on in that bar on the very uh right side take the tour mm -hmm. that tour is about a six minute little over six minute tour and i thought that was useful it kind of showed you how you do navigate through the classes. So you might oh, so want it's to a tour of how to how to take how class, to navigate how to through the, the classes. Cool. And I thought it was kind of worth it. Um, I, it made me feel a little more like I sort of knew what was going on. Mm -hmm. um, I think you learn pretty quickly. I would love to demo it for you, but all this stuff is copyrighted. And if this is going to be posted on the web later, I thought, well, no, we can't really use their copyrighted material. Screenshots are good. You never yeah. know, too, when things w – live demos are nice, but if you're worried about if they will work correctly or not, yes, sometimes yes. <laughs> having so, screenshots is, is a safer bet. Also, I wasn't sure if I got things wrong when I looked dumb. No. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, um, but because I did get things wrong. Mm -hmm. I I had you know mm -hmm. Excel is not something I knew very well yeah or at all really and so this really did teach me a lot of stuff about Excel I didn't know I am more confident using Excel now than I was cool See, so, testimonial from you too yeah so and when you get all done and they say okay you've completed everything um they will tell you that um you Candace Gastons from Kimball says that she really liked the way the material was presented in bite-sized pieces and that the tests really help you kind of consolidate what you've learned. Um, I mean, the tests aren't mean, and if you don't do it, mm -hmm. if you don't get a 100, you can go back and do it over again until you get a 100. So you get them all right, figure yeah. them out. Nice. And you know me, I had to go back and do it until <laughs> I got the 100 because, you know. Um, and when you're, you've completed them, you it goes on your progress. It says my progress in your um, mm -hmm. home page, and it says completed. Now, there's supposed to be a little icon there where you can actually print yourself a certificate. Hmm. Okay. Um, but I had to call Web Junction, and they're looking into it because right now I didn't have it. Ah, uh, something's missing. Um, but we'll get that, mm -hmm. and you don't have to have a certificate really you know you completed it mm -hmm. um but we also heard from angela amelia at south sioux city and she said she would really recommend them she thought that they were the classes mm -hmm. were good um that you did have to just kind of say okay i'm going to go with the flow here and go with the class um as i said they're narrated and the woman who narrated mine had a very faint it wasn't irritating at all. In fact, it was fun. I enjoyed it. The tiniest trace of an Irish accent, which I thought <laughs> really? was charming. Interesting. Okay. So I really liked it. Mm -hmm. um, we well, so, do have a question before uh -huh. we go to the next okay. one here about um, the tests and that you yeah. take from them. Um, someone says they're going to be training um, new staff and are looking for a way to, for indi individuals to be able to test out of training, meaning prove that you already know how to use this mm -hmm. thing so you don't need the extra training. Is there a way in here to just jump to taking the test without having done yes, the you class can. Or, or watching the video? There first? is a pre-test if you want to oh, see okay. how much you already know. Oh. Um, and you can just go to the tests and take them. Because you said it, it was difficult to jump around when you're trying to learn, but you can just jump to the end. You can. Say, Let me take the test. But cool. then if they if you didn't do okay on the test, you have to go back. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, this is because of the way Skillsoft is marketed and essentially uh, for the most part sold, it's sold to companies and sold mm -hmm. to businesses mm -hmm. who want to extend training for their people. So they're pretty, they want 
they're pretty serious about people actually completing and making mm -hmm. sure that people have um, are competent in the tasks right. when they're done with the training. Um, so it's not, it's not something to really, it's not unpleasant. It's not, you know, this terrible burden or anything, mm -hmm. but it's not something you fool around with either. You kind of do go through it and do kind of get your head into it mm -hmm. while you're doing the training. Yeah. It's, it's serious. Um, so anyway, um, but yes, it could be used that way if they yes, it to. could. Yeah. It certainly could be. Um, Okay, so there are some tech requirements, and um, you have to allow pop-ups on your computer. Um, they recommend that you're using the latest uh, version of Java, although it will work, they say, with any version. Uh, you do have to have cookies enabled. And some browsers, it should work with almost any browser, although some browsers do work a little better than others. And if you need a little bit more about... Um, the tech requirements. Web Junction has this Skillsoft Skillsoft. I find that hard, hard to, to say. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. Skillsoft troubleshooting page, um, and they list some of the um, tech things to be aware of. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know these people are marketing, as we said, to many businesses all mm -hmm. over the world because these mm -hmm. come in a lot of languages too. Ah, okay. um, I didn't see any point in learning Excel in Spanish, but I could have. <laughs> um, so uh, they they do make it work with almost anybody's computer. That's not really going to be an issue. But um, for instance, if you have a pop-up blocker, you need to unblock it, at mm -hmm. least for a few domains. Mm -hmm. um, and they ask if you have a problem not to uh, contact Skillsoft, but to contact Web Junction. Mm -hmm. And in fact, they have a little form here for you to contact Web Junction about any trouble if you have it. Um, Skillsoft does, although, have a page you can go to to check to make sure that you do have all the tech stuff that you need. So you can just go to this page um, if for some if you have a very old computer and you're worried or oh, something. Oh, so it will actually access your computer and check to see what you what's going yeah. on. Because I see here it says your Java is enabled, your cookies are enabled. Yeah. 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 Nice. Um, so, what you know, flash you have. they really have figured out how to make all this work for people. Um, Skillsoft does have some things besides the courses and the webinars. Um, there is a, a Skillsoft web page that is outside the skill port um, where they have the courses where you can learn more about the company. You can see a demo, although I'm not sure why you would, why you wouldn't just go into skill port and register since you can. Um, but there is a Skillsoft um, web page. Um, as I said, they have demos and you can see the catalog on the web without going into skill port. Although again, I'm not sure why you, why you would, but you can if you want to. And they have, um, evidently they have um, conferences now about training because they're a big name in training. Mm -hmm. uh, corporate training is a big industry. Um, and they do have the occasional webinar. I got this yesterday that they're going to have this um, webinar on Wednesday, August 19th. So, you know, I think um, so far I, I've taken two courses. Um, I did get completions on both of them. <laughs> um, I enjoyed them. I've, I felt like I really did master the material and, you know, it's so easy to go through a little demo and say, oh, cool. But then when you really get down to it, you think, well, what was that? How did I do that? What? Um, no, this, mm -hmm. you, you really will know it. You, you will say, yes, I know how to do this now. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was, um, and I hope this works for people because you can do it anytime, really with any computer, with an inter with a internet connection. Mm -hmm. And because you can stop and start the classes. Yes, that's nice. um, Always getting interrupted, so that's good. <laughs> yes. I felt like this really would work for people, and I hope that it does. Um, as far as your CE credits, 
I had a little trouble at the beginning when we first started figuring out how to get the reports and stuff, but I have that figured out now. Um, and I get a report from them. And mm -hmm. so I'll know um, who's completed a course. But I decided because it tells me who's even started a class. Mm -hmm. um, and I know, for instance, 168 people right now have gone in and registered. Nice. Um, so it, it, they have to have said you've completed the class for me to record CE credit for you. But I do get this and every week, most weeks, some weeks if they're very busy, I, I miss mm -hmm. one because I'll get it the next week. Mm -hmm. um, and remember, it, it's not going to get lost. If it takes two weeks to get it recorded, mm -hmm. it doesn't change the fact that you did it. Yes. And we know that you did it. We just haven't quite gotten to getting it recorded yet. Mm -hmm. So, um, but if you have a question, of course, you can always contact me. So for CE then, um, people don't have to submit the CE form to let you know they did this. You'll no, get, they do not. get the reports from I will get the reports from Skillsoft. Or Skillsoft, and you'll be able to take, pay attention to it that way. For, track the it that way for the only time um, I can foresee a problem is if you view several videos and you don't do them all at once, hmm. then I I have to make sure I watch the report and See get those put all, together. Yeah. So, you know, maybe you want to jog my elbow on that. <laughs> it's okay if people jog my elbow. Mm -hmm. um, we're keeping track of over 900 people in the CE That's a lot, uh, yeah. certification program. Mm -hmm. And um, we do pretty well, mm -hmm. but you know, if, if somebody needs to remind me of something, I appreciate it. Or if you're not it's sure fine. if something went through correctly, if yeah. there was some sort of technical thing you thought was wonky, yeah. to have, you know, you can check and see what the report said. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Always. So, um, and you can always contact me anytime. It's just laura.johnson at nebraska.gov. And um, I know we're, we're not... We haven't run to a whole hour today, but that no, was really okay. kind of, you know, <laughs> what we had to say about yeah. Skillsoft. Does anybody have any questions? Mm -hmm. um, has anybody else tried it that they'd like to talk about their experience? Yeah. If anybody has any questions, use your questions interface, or if you have a microphone, let me know. And in there, type in, unmute me, I have a mic. And um, you can ask your question that way. Or if you've used it, yeah, we definitely want to hear. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, the people that had used it, that Laura had their testimonials, none of them were available today to no, join they us live. They so, join us. Um, but I do have a couple of questions. Um, you said when you, when course is completed, um, when it's done, you get the completed yeah. application. Um, if someone wanted to go back and refresher, can they redo a course they've already completed? You know, I don't know. Ah, okay. Um, <laughs> like, you know, I do it this week and then for whatever reason, don't use Excel for six months and need a reminder about what I learned or something. Can I, yeah, that's what I'm wondering. I think you could. Um, I'll have to ask because I'm really not sure. Like, does it close that course for you? Is that actually I don't be the think question. so, but I, I really don't know. Um, I, I never thought about that. <laughs> um, I think I would be tempted, actually, if I wanted to just, um, you know, refresh myself a little, would be to see if there was a video. Oh, uh, okay. You know, Watch one of those instead. ten minute mm -hmm. videos. Because they don't have the videos don't have a um test or anything like the course at the end no. of the courses are only ones that do. Yeah. Where you're doing the actual exercises yeah. and actually using it. Okay. Um you said this is what we have purchased it for all library staff in Nebraska. Now does that include boards and trustees or is it just staff members or how does how picky is that? Definitely I am going to say that it does include library boards. Um, it probably does not include volunteers or friends. Mm -hmm. okay. um, I wouldn't even have thought about friends, yeah. That's usually something completely separate. Yeah, yeah. that's separate. Um, and as I said, right now, our contract said technically, I think it was 813 people. We have 168 signed up. So we've got plenty of room. Plenty of room. Moment. But I'm hoping that hundreds of people, after mm -hmm. seeing this presentation, will run right out and sign up. So, um, And I suppose if we get that 800 and something, there could be a discussion with Skillsoft about do we need to adjust our contract or something. Well, that we'll, would be a future, yeah, we'll future conversation. Yeah. But right now we have a contract. It started um, 
a new contract started July 1. Mm -hmm. And um, as I said, we will be tracking this because if it's not working for people, then it's not working for us. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, on the other hand, I, I understand that it takes things a while to get some traction. So no, we're really we're hoping this, yeah. that uh, people will try out the classes mm -hmm. because I think um, they'll find that it's pretty effective. Mm -hmm. And this is for any type of library in the state. It's not just public libraries. It's for any kind of library, not, just, pub school, not just public libraries. Museum, yes, the academics are welcome. Whoever, yeah. K-12 is the home. Anybody yeah. who works at a library. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when we get impressive. up to 800 people, then we'll worry about <laughs> if we need to. it. Yeah. But right now we're fine. Okay. Cool. Well, nobody typed anything in yet. Does anybody have any questions? That's all the questions I came to. Okay. Um, well, should you have any questions, comments, thoughts? I guess nobody has anybody here done it yet. I don't. Nobody has said they did, so I'm going to guess that none of you on the line have popped into any of the classes yet. Let me know. You know, if if you have some thoughts about it, mm -hmm. let me know what you think. Yeah. I think it's very cool. I like I said. I I, I meant to, to actually get into it and take some before today because I wanted to be able to speak um, more coherently. I don't know what the word is yeah. with actual knowledge, and I just never got around to doing anything. But um, there's definitely stuff in there that I yeah. would want to learn more about. That I kind of you know muddle my way through things like Excel. I know how to use it, but I'm sure there's things I could do better. I muddle my way through <laughs> and um, I know a lot more. I've taken mm -hmm. two of the Excel courses. I would like to do the mm -hmm. rest of them, the basic Excel courses. Mm -hmm. um, and I would like to try one of those leadership or management courses just to see yeah, those the are... difference between those and mm -hmm. sort of a technical skill. Yeah. I think that'd be interesting. I really like that those those different kinds of courses. And this isn't just. I mean, that's how we kind of promoted this yes. show today was your online skills, your database, your, your yes. word and what. But having all that other types of things in there, I think is really good for people more in the managerial type. You know, the director of the library, mm -hmm. the people. You know, they need to know the things too. Yeah. But it's got that other coming at it from the other side. I like that for some people that. Yeah are maybe new to being a director, library director yeah. or administrator, and are like, I don't even know what to do with these people in my staff who are, yeah. So we'll all have to see, yeah. um, but this is something new, and we're really hoping that it helps fulfill a need for mm -hmm. people. Well, nobody's typed in any urgent questions. I'm going to assume we've t okay. covered everything you need. <laughs> So and, uh, yeah. let me know if you have any Fine. questions, problems, comments, um, and uh, we hope that you find these classes interesting and useful. Yeah, cool. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank Laura. you. Um, thank you, everyone, for attending today. That will wrap it up for today's show. I'm going to go to – there we go. Um, so that will wrap it up for today's Encompass Live. Something else I also I did, um, you said you showed how over here on the education um, uh -huh. Skillsoft is over here. Yeah. Um, I also was able to search for it on our site. I just wasn't sure what would come up. I just did oop, that keyboard type Skillsoft. And uh, it comes up as the very first thing going right to that page that um, yeah. Laura set up for starting off the classes. So. Definitely, you can go right there um, easily to search our site as well to get a hold of everything that you'd need to take the classes. So, um, that will wrap it up for today. Let me take, I'll take it yeah. right now, so. today's show. Um, it has been recorded, as I said, um, and will be posted to our um, YouTube channel. This is our uh, Encompass Live website. The recording will be right down here in our archived Encompass Live sessions is where everything goes. And you will have, let's see if we had last week's, yes, we'll be recording. There'll be a link to the presentation, the PowerPoint that Laura had up here, and any links that she mentioned in the presentation, I do quick links to those as well so you don't have to type them in yourself if you, you don't want to. 
So sometime later today, we'll say um, that would be available there. So thank you very much for attending this week. Um, I hope you'll join us next week when our topic is um, another Library Commission-centric topic, um, From the Basement to the West Wing, the Talking Book and Braille Services New Space. Over the last year or so, I'm not sure how long it took, our Talking Book and Braille Service used to be in the basement of right two-ish floors below where we are right now. The atrium building, and yeah. In the atrium building, and they have moved out of there, are now right across the hall from us on the first floor. They have windows. It's awesome. <laughs> it is. It's um, very nice. Had new uh, sound booths built and everything, new meeting rooms over there. Mm -hmm. So um, Dave Ortley and Scott um, Schultz and maybe some other staff and volunteers to be determined <laughs> will be joining us next week to talk about how they pulled this off. Um, huge project, um, yeah, with a lot, of, a lot of moving and work and, and organization we, and coordination. I, I don't know how many done. thousands of books they oh, had. I don't the shelving was but, just alone. Yeah. You know, there's all these talking book little plastic boxes that they send out to people, mm -hmm. and I mean, it's a whole library of these things. There's thousands yeah, of them that they move. An amazing so, service, yeah. and this whole move was. A huge endeavor. So um, sign up and join us next week for that if you'd like to, or any of our other upcoming shows that we have coming up in the next couple of months. They're on there on our schedule. Also, Encompass Live is on Facebook. If you are a big Facebook user, please do pop over there and like our page. Um, every week, I'll post um, reminders. Like here's the one from this morning, reminding people to log in on the fly for today's show. When the recordings are ready, I will put them up here. Reminders of upcoming shows um, will be on our Facebook page. So if you are big on Facebook, um, do go over there and like our Facebook page. Other than that, that wraps it up for today. Thank you very much, Laura. Well, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for attending, and we will see you next time on Encompass Live. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.